I get a lot of phone calls from people with 240Ds and 300Ds that um, when they turn the key, it doesn't turn off. And um, I just want to run through how the system works and possible fixes and causes of the problem. So basically, this is a diesel pump. This happens to be for 300D. A 240D, same sort of thing, obviously just for four cylinders. On the back of the diesel pump, this over here fits in and is held in by this little bracket with four little bolts. Um, I've taken it out. And how it works is that when vacuum is given to this or supplied to it, it pulls back and that pulls back the rail inside the diesel pump and shuts off the car. So there's a vacuum line that runs from here to the ignition. Uh, the ignition itself, here's a diesel ignition here. The ignition itself has two little vacuum, two little outlets on with a switch. So basically what you're doing is when you when you when you turn off the ignition, it opens that up, opens vacuum, allows the vacuum to run through and reach this shuttle fill, which then pulls the rail and as I say shuts off the engine. So uh, let's go to one of the cars and we can actually see how that system works and where it, where it gets its vacuum from that it feeds to the ignition. So we've come to my 300D camper here and the reason I've done that is because the system is still standard and it's a nice way of illustrating how it's supposed to work. Um, so in the front of the engine there's a vacuum pump with a diaphragm in it that moves. It's driven by a cam inside the engine itself and that supplies vacuum to the brake booster. So if you go around you'll actually see there's a vacuum line going to the brake booster that supplies the brake booster. And in this car it doesn't have central locking or anything like that that runs off vacuum. It's just a single pipe that vacuum is drawn off here that goes to the ignition. Okay. The ignition, when you turn it off, it opens that vacuum, allows the vacuum to run from there through the ignition, back out through the firewall into the shuttle valve, which then pulls the uh, diesel pump back. Once you close the ignition, okay, the vacuum then, uh, the switch then closes again and uh, allows the engine to restart. So a very simple system. Uh, Things that can go wrong with it, you're basically looking at um, a failed vacuum pump here. The diaphragm inside there tears very often. Uh, they are available new from Mercedes for a few hundred bucks. Uh, but that would manifest itself, uh, if you have that problem, it would manifest itself by the brakes being exceptionally hard. It would have no boost in the brakes. Uh, so very, very hard pedal, very difficult to brake. That would point towards a vacuum problem with the vacuum pump itself. Assuming your brakes feel all right, issue lies elsewhere. Uh, so somewhere between here, where that nipple comes off, uh, the, um, the booster line, uh, somewhere between there and the ignition, or between the ignition and here. Uh, so the very, very first thing to do is to check through all the vacuum connections, these little rubber hoses, pull them off, make sure that they're nice and supple and not cracked or anything like that. Um, once you've checked that line from there, all the way through to the ignition, and from the ignition back to there, then you've eliminated the problem with uh, that uh, a possible problem with the pipes itself. Next thing to do is to test this over here. Very easy way to do it is to just with the engine running, pull the vacuum off here. Okay, put another little plastic line in, and with the engine running, suck on it. Okay, sucking on it should create enough vacuum to to pull the pull the rail back and switch off the engine. Um, the other possible problem, is if it does that, then, you, then you've ruled that out. Okay, the next thing to do is to actually look at the ignition itself. Uh, but let's go inside and we can talk about it. Inside to this, this 240D in the shop. Um, only because the vacuum pump is already offered and it actually shows you how it's driven. So you'll see there's a little lobe over there. This spins around with the engine, it drives this pump like this pushes against it. It's exceptionally hard to push with your hand. There's a monster of a spring in there, but basically that does that. There's a rubber diaphragm inside here and that creates the vacuum, which goes to the booster over there. Very, very simple and reliable system. Uh, very reliable. Uh, so that vacuum comes off the booster line, goes into the uh, ignition and then back, as I said, to the shuttle valve. So having ruled out the shuttle valve as a potential problem with uh, with shutting off there. Uh, the next thing to do is look at the ignition, see if that holds vacuum and actually shuts it off with those two little pipes. Uh, assuming it does, well, then your problem sorted. If it doesn't, uh, a very easy solution, which I've seen a lot of times, is just running a vacuum line from the shuttle valve 
to the inside and putting a syringe there. And just pulling the syringe will create enough vacuum to turn off the engine. And in fact, I shared a video on the 240D we bought him a couple of weeks ago where somebody had done exactly that and mounted the syringe very, very neatly in that little panel underneath the, underneath the uh, dash. So that's one option. The other option is to just loop the vacuum. So in other words, run the vacuum from that booster line that I showed you in the 300D camper uh, to a little tap um, on the inside of the car that's accessible and then to the shuttle valve. So in other words, just a loop, a vacuum line running from the booster inside and then there and putting a little tap with the engine running, you open the tap, sends the vacuum to the shutoff valve and turns the engine off. Uh, and to restart, you just close the tap, make sure there's no vacuum there, thing goes back in, puts the rail back in position and you can start and go. Um, so that's if you've got vacuum, okay? Uh, if you don't, or if uh, you want to bypass that whole vacuum shutoff system here, we'll go to Bella's car now, where it was done very successfully. Uh, we can go there and have a look at the Bella's car, just uh, running past the actual vacuum system here to illustrate how it works, very simply. Uh, vacuum pump that runs off the engine, vacuum hose that goes to the booster uh, to create your braking assistance. Off that vacuum line, there'll be a little nipple on it on a diesel. This isn't off a diesel, this is something else. But anyway, there'll be a little nipple that runs this vacuum to that on the ignition switch. From the ignition switch, another pipe goes to the shuttle valve on the diesel on the diesel pump. Basically what you're doing with the engine running, when you turn the key, you're opening that vacuum switch over there, which allows the vacuum to reach that and turn off the car. Okay, now we go to Bella's car. Here on Bella's car, uh, when we got it uh, from your home uh, years ago, uh, he had actually installed this system here. And it's, it's ingenious in that what he's done is he's actually put a mechanical linkage inside there, pulling back the, uh, the fuel rail and the diesel pump. So when Bella pulls the lever inside, it goes like that, pulling back. If you look underneath it, I don't know if you can get in there. If you come around this way, maybe it was. Swap cases here. So if you pull this back, you can actually see it moving the shut off inside there, pulling back the rail and turning off the car. So this cable just goes inside, uh, and if you have a look around here, uh, pass me the phone and you can actually show where that is, Bills. Okay. So which lever would you... Okay, pull this one so out. just pulling that back would actually turn it off. Yeah. Um, so really, really simple. So what's nice about that is it's just a nice, easy solution. If you do have an issue with the vacuum pump itself or you can't resolve the uh, shuttle for the key and you don't want to do the syringe thing, but there's a variety of different solutions. Um, that being one of them. So in summary, it's actually a pretty easy problem to sort out. Uh, don't um, postpone it and shut off the engine. That's very tempting to do with uh, manual by letting out the clutch and forth and stuff you're just going to mess stuff up uh, it's easy to resolve if you can't resolve the vacuum then you do a linkage like um, in Bella's car um, you've had that car for years three mm. four years and it's it's using it every day and it works exceptionally well uh, or a syringe like the other 240d Man, I've even had one the other day, well, the other day, uh, a few years ago, 240D, where somebody had run a vacuum pump, uh, vacuum pipe from, uh, from the shuttle valve, uh, through the firewall, through the ceiling, down through the B-pillar, and where the seat belt comes out, it was there. And every time you wanted to turn the car off, you had to go and suck on that thing, but it worked. It turned the car off. So there's lots of solutions, and it's normally a very easy and cheap fix. None of these parts are expensive, um, so don't despair. Easy to easy, easy, easy to resolve.